frosty design. Today I'm going to show you how to use a really simple technique that can really enhance your sewing experience. It takes a couple practice runs and can avoid a whole lot of frustration. I'm going to show you how to use your Bernina needle threader. I know it sounds simple, you might already know how to do it, but you probably don't. I decided to do this video because in my Bernina Academy class, a lot of my students get so frustrated threading their needle by hand, but they don't know how to use the threader. So I promised them a video, so here it is. Today I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to use the threader. I'm gonna show you what it will look like in a fluid motion, and then I'm gonna put it in super slow motion so that you can sit with your phone and do it as I do it, and then you can practice from there. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps you learn this basic skill. Here we are at the machine. I took the foot off already just so that you could see the needle. You can thread your machine with the foot on, just make sure it's in the up position so that the tension doesn't get thrown off. So what we're going to do, I'm going to unthread this so you can see. I've got red thread in the bobbin, white in the top, just so you can keep track of what thread is where. And let's take a look at our threader. So as you can see, if you pull it all the way down, it swings into the needle. So it's stationary and then it swings. A lot of difficulties with this threader is that people push it all the way down, try to use it, and it just doesn't work that way. It really is more of a fluid motion once you practice a few times. So what we're going to do before we get started, make sure your needle is in the up position. You can just use your needle up down button that is more accurate and will be perfectly in line with the threader. To get started I want you to pull your threader down halfway before it starts swinging. You're going to use your left thumb to kind of control that thread. I want you to wrap it around the, the gray barrel and then pull your thread across the eye of the needle. And as you'll see it lands in that little dimple on the right side of your threader and the needle comes through and pulls that thread out for you. Now I'm going to show you this a couple more times. I'm going to do it again slowly and then I'll even do a slow motion so that you can really see what's going on. So pull down, go around the gray barrel, aim across the eye, and if the eye's a little hard to aim for, that's okay. Do your best and then once this pulls across the needle, look for that dimple on the, th on the right side of the threader. And one more time in super slow motion. And then here I'll show you how nice and easy it is to do when you're in the middle of a project. You just grab the loop and you're ready to go. 